أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم توسين ميم These are verses of the book that makes things clear. It may be you fret your soul with grief that they do not become believers. If such were our will, we could send down to them from the sky a sign to which they would bend their necks in humility. But there comes not to them a newly revealed message from Allah most gracious, but they turn away therefrom. They have indeed rejected the message. So they will know soon enough the truth of what they mocked at. Do they not look at the earth, how many noble things of all kinds we have produced therein? Verily, in this is a sign, but most of them do not believe. And, verily, your Lord is he the exalted in might most merciful. Behold, your Lord called Moses, go to the people of iniquity. The people of Pharaoh, will they not fear Allah? He said, O my Lord, I do fear that they will charge me with falsehood. My breast will be straightened and my speech may not go smoothly, so send unto Aaron. And further, they have a charge of crime against me, and I fear they may slay me. Allah said, By no means, proceed then both of you with our signs. We are with you and will listen to your call. So go forth both of you to Pharaoh and say, We have been sent by the Lord and Cherisher of the worlds. Send you with us the children of Israel. Pharaoh said, Did we not cherish you as a child among us? And did you not stay in our midst many years of your life? And you did a deed of yours which you know you did, and you are an ungrateful wretch. Moses said, I did it then when I was in error. So I fled from you all when I feared you. But my Lord has since invested me with judgment and wisdom and appointed me as one of the messengers. And this is the favor with which you do reproach me, that you have enslaved the children of Israel? Pharaoh said, And what is the Lord and cherisher of the worlds? Moses said, The Lord and cherisher of the heavens and the earth and all between, if you want to be quite sure. Pharaoh said to those around, Do you not listen to what he says? Moses said, Your Lord and the Lord of your fathers from the beginning. Pharaoh said, Truly, your messenger who has been sent to you is a veritable madman. Moses said, Lord of the east and the west and all between, if you only had sense. Pharaoh said, If you do put forward any god other than me, I will certainly put you in prison. Moses said, Even if I showed you something clear and convincing? Pharaoh said, Show it then if you tell the truth. So Moses threw his rod, and behold, it was a serpent plain for all to see. And he drew out his hand, and behold, it was white to all beholders. Pharaoh said to the chiefs around him, This is indeed a sorcerer well versed. His plan is to get you out of your land by his sorcery. Then what is it you counsel? They said, Keep him and his brother in suspense for a while and dispatch to the city's heralds to collect, and bring up to you all our sorcerers well versed. So the sorcerers were got together for the appointment of a day well known. And the people were told, Are you now assembled? That we may follow the sorcerers in religion if they win. So when the sorcerers arrived, they said to Pharaoh, Of course, shall we have a suitable reward if we win? He said, Yea, and more, for you shall in that case be raised to posts nearest to my person. Moses said to them, Throw you that which you are about to throw. So they threw their ropes and their rods, and said, By the might of Pharaoh it is we who will certainly win. Then Moses threw his rod, when behold, it straightway swallows up all the falsehoods which they fake. Then did the sorcerers fall down, prostrate in adoration, saying, We believe in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Moses and Aaron.
Said Pharaoh, Believe you in him before I give you permission? Surely he is your leader, who has taught you sorcery. But soon shall you know, Be sure I will cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will cause you all to die on the cross. They said, No matter for us, we shall but return to our Lord. Only our desire is that our Lord will forgive us our faults, that we may become foremost among the believers. By inspiration we told Moses, Travel by night with my servants, for surely you shall be pursued. Then Pharaoh sent heralds to all the cities, saying, These Israelites are but a small band, and they are raging furiously against us. But we are a multitude amply forewarned. So we expelled them from gardens, springs, treasures and every kind of honorable position. Thus it was, but we made the children of Israel inheritors of such things. So they pursued them at sunrise. And when the two bodies saw each other, the people of Moses said, We are sure to be overtaken. Moses said, By no means, my Lord is with me, soon will he guide me. Then we told Moses by inspiration, Strike the sea with your rod, so it divided and each separate part became like the huge firm mass of a mountain. And we made the other party approach thither. We delivered Moses and all who were with him, but we drowned the others. Verily in this is a sign, but most of them do not believe. And verily your Lord is he, the exalted in might, most merciful. And rehearsed to them something of Abram's story. Behold, he said to his father and his people, What worship you? They said, We worship idols, and we remain constantly in attendance on them. He said, Do they listen to you when you call on them? Or do you good or harm? They said, Nay, but we found our fathers doing thus what we do. He said, Do you then see whom you have been worshipping? You and your fathers before you? For they are enemies to me, not so the Lord and cherisher of the worlds, who created me, and it is he who guides me, who gives me food and drink, and when I am ill, it is he who cures me, who will cause me to die and then to live again, and who, I hope, will forgive me my faults on the day of judgment. O oh my Lord, bestow wisdom on me and join me with the righteous. Grant me honorable mention on the tongue of truth among the latest generations. Make me one of the inheritors of the garden of bliss. Forgive my father for that he is among those astray. And let me not be in disgrace on the day when men will be raised up. A day whereon neither wealth nor sons will avail. But only he will prosper that brings to Allah a sound heart. To the righteous the garden will be brought near. And to those straying in evil, the fire will be placed in full view. And it shall be said to them, Where are the gods you worshipped? Besides Allah, can they help you or help themselves? Then they will be thrown headlong into the fire, they and those straying in evil, and the whole hosts of Iblis together. They will say there in their mutual bickerings, By Allah we were truly in an error manifest, when we held you as equals with the Lord of the worlds, and our seducers were only those who were steeped in guilt. Now then we have none to intercede for us nor a single friend to feel for us. Now, if we only had a chance of return, we shall truly be of those who believe. Verily, in this is a sign, but most of them do not believe. And verily, your Lord is he, the exalted in might, most merciful. The people of Noah rejected the messengers. Behold, their brother Noah said to them, Will you not fear Allah? I am to you a messenger worthy of all trust. So fear Allah and obey me. 
No reward do I ask of you for it. My reward is only from the Lord of the worlds. So fear Allah and obey me. They said, Shall we believe in you when it is the meanest that follow you? He said, And what do I know as to what they do? Their account is only with my Lord, if you could but understand. I am not one to drive away those who believe. I am sent only to warn plainly in public. They said, If you desist not, O Noah, you shall be stoned to death. He said, O my Lord, truly my people have rejected me. Judge you then between me and them openly, and deliver me and those of the believers who are with me. So we delivered him, and those with him in the ark filled with all creatures. Thereafter we drowned those who remained behind. Verily in this is a sign, but most of them do not believe. And verily your Lord is he, the exalted in might most merciful. The Ad people rejected the messengers. Behold, their brother Hud said to them, Will you not fear Allah? I am to you a messenger worthy of all trust. So fear Allah and obey me. No reward do I ask of you for it. My reward is only from the Lord of the worlds. Do you build a landmark on every high place to amuse yourselves? And do you get for yourselves fine buildings in the hope of living therein forever? And when you exert your strong hand, do you do it like men of absolute power? Now fear Allah and obey me. Yea, fear him who has bestowed on you freely all that you know. Freely has he bestowed on you cattle and sons, and gardens and springs. Truly I fear for you the penalty of a great day. They said, It is the same to us whether you admonish us, or be not among our admonishers. This is no other than a customary device of the ancients. And we are not the ones to receive pains and penalties. So they rejected him, and we destroyed them. Verily in this is a sign, but most of them do not believe. And verily your Lord is he, the exalted in might, most merciful. The Thamud people rejected the messengers. Behold, their brother Salih said to them, Will you not fear Allah? I am to you a messenger, worthy of all trust. So fear Allah and obey me. No reward do I ask of you for it. My reward is only from the Lord of the worlds. Will you be left secure in the enjoyment of all that you have here? Gardens and springs? And cornfields and date palms? With spades near breaking with the weight of fruit? And you carve houses out of rocky mountains with great skill. But fear Allah and obey me. And follow not the bidding of those who are extravagant. Who make mischief in the land and mend not their ways. They said, you are only one of those bewitched. You are no more than a mortal like us. Then bring us a sign if you tell the truth. He said, here is a she-camel. She has a right of watering and you have a right of watering, severally on a day appointed. Touch her not with harm, lest the penalty of a great day seize you. But they hamstrung her, then did they become full of regrets. But the penalty seized them, verily in this is a sign, but most of them did not believe. And verily your Lord is he, the exalted in might, most merciful. The people of Lut rejected the messengers. Behold, their brother Lut said to them, Will you not fear Allah? I am to you a messenger, worthy of all trust. So fear Allah and obey me. No reward do I ask of you for it. My reward is only from the Lord of the worlds. Of all the creatures in the world, will you approach males? And leave those whom Allah has created for you to be your mates. Nay, you are a people transgressing all limits. They said, If you desist not, O Lut, you will assuredly be cast out. 
he said, I do detest your doings. O my Lord, deliver me and my family from such things as they do. So we delivered him and his family, all, except an old woman who lingered behind. But the rest we destroyed utterly. We rained down on them a shower of brimstone, and evil was the shower on those who were admonished, but he did not. Verily, in this is a sign, but most of them do not believe. And verily, your Lord is he, the exalted in might, most merciful. The companions of the wood rejected the messengers. Behold, Shuaib said to them, Will you not fear Allah? I am to you a messenger worthy of all trust. So fear Allah and obey me. No reward do I ask of you for it. My reward is only from the Lord of the worlds. Give just measure and cause no loss to others by fraud. And weigh with scales true and upright. And withhold not things justly due to men, nor do evil in the land, working mischief. And fear him who created you, and who created the generations before you. They said, You are only one of those bewitched. You are no more than a mortal like us. And indeed, we think you are a liar. Now cause a piece of the sky to fall on us, if you are truthful. He said, My Lord knows best what you do. They rejected him. Then the punishment of a day of overshadowing gloom seized them, and that was the penalty of a great day. Verily, in that is a sign, but most of them do not believe. And verily, your Lord is he, the exalted in might, most merciful. Verily, this is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. With it came down the spirit of faith and truth. To your heart and mind that you may admonish. In the perspicuous Arabic tongue, without doubt it is announced in the revealed books of former peoples. Is it not a sign to them that the learned of the children of Israel knew it as true? Had we revealed it to any of the non-Arabs? And, had he recited it to them, they would not have believed in it. Thus have we caused it to enter the hearts of the sinners. They will not believe in it until they see the grievous penalty. But the penalty will come to them of a sudden, while they perceive it not. Then they will say, Shall we be respited? Do they then ask for our penalty to be hastened on? See you, if we do let them enjoy this life for a few years. Yet there comes to them at length the punishment which they were promised. It will profit them not that they enjoyed this life. Never did we destroy a population, but had its warners. By way of reminder, and we never are unjust. No evil ones have brought down this revelation. It would neither suit them, nor would they be able to produce it. Indeed, they have been removed far from even a chance of hearing it. So call not on any other god with Allah, or you will be among those under the penalty. And admonish your nearest kinsmen. And lower your wing to the believers who follow you. Then, if they disobey you, say, I am free of responsibility for what you do. And put your trust on the exalted in might, the merciful, who sees you standing forth in prayer, and your movements among those who prostrate themselves. For it is he who hears and knows all things. Shall I inform you, O people, on whom it is that the evil ones descend? They descend on every lying, wicked person, into whose ears they pour hearsay vanities, and most of them are liars. And the poets, it is those straying in evil who follow them. See not that they wander distractedly in every valley, and that they say what they practice not. Accept those who believe, work righteousness, engage much in the remembrance of Allah, and defend themselves only after they are unjustly attacked. And soon will the unjust assailants know what vicissitudes their affairs will take.